You got to stop. Stop enabling yourself to be full of shit. Because you're not full of shit. You know it. You just said it out loud. When I challenged you and said, then fucking leave. You know I don't believe this, but then fucking leave. You said, no, this is not real. It's not true. So be that guy. So I'm a manipulator. I'm manipulating the mother-in-law. Um, let's see. I'm not allowed to talk to my mother-in-law who lives with my kids in my house about my kids. Um, went to therapy with my daughter. Got my ass handed to me last night and today, uh, or this morning, uh, twice. About I only talked to her about kids. Um, I do not ever want you. You're ugly. You're despicable. I despise everything about you. I will not go to joint counseling so we can try to communicate. And on and on and on and on. All right, hold hold today. up. This is a little bit like the David thing yesterday. So I'm not going to throw the same passion because I'm I sure you watch. No, oh, I thought you I was going to say I thought you would watch the call. So I'm going to say the same thing to you now. The little, there's one thing different and that's there's been other things coming at you. But overall, this is a reoccurring theme with you. And you need to shut oh, up. No, no, the manipulation I'm, I'm thing. I'm manipulating like, the mother-in-law now. No, I don't care what your wife says about manipulation. I literally don't want you to ever talk about again because all you're doing is it's a complaint. It's a sit in your pain and bitch. It's this sucks. I can't believe I'm going through this. I'm a victim. My life is terrible. It's really what you're saying, dude. And you're not manipulating her. You're taking care of your mother-in-law who lives in your home. How do I know that? Because I know your story. How do I know it? Because for the 800th time you've told us, I take care of my mother-in-law. She's in her home. I don't need your justification and your nice guy doesn't need it either. We know you're a good man. The manipulation I was talking to my mother-in-law and, and I said, okay, if she decides to leave, where are you going to live? What are you going to do? And she says, it's none of your fucking business where my mom goes. Don't talk to my mom. Hey, you're hey, you're scaring hey, my mother. hey, you're not manipulating your mother-in-law. You're not scaring her. You're taking care of her. You guys have been getting along great. You guys and your kids have been getting along great. You guys have been very concerned about your wife. Her mom, your your mother-in-law, concerned about her daughter. Why are you listening to your wife? What's the common denominator of problem here? Because I just got attacked this morning. I don't I give a school. shit. Stand up, grow a pair, and be a man. This is how you do it. Listen, I can appreciate that you think I'm manipulating you. I understand what the old me said and did. If you'd like to continue this conversation, you can change your tone. You can change your words and we'll address manipulation and how it's not happening. Or I'm done with this conversation until you're ready to do part one. Then we can move on to part two, three, four, and maybe 18. I'm not sure. But today I've had enough. See how firm I am? Agreed. Stop Agreed. acting like a scared little boy. I don't care what she says. Not this, it's certainly not the same thing over and over and over again. Fucking thing. God damn it. It doesn't matter. That's the fucking thing. It, yeah, yeah, well, I had yeah. to go to a therapist with my daughter yesterday because of the way my wife treats my daughter. And it was brought up in a therapy. The whole fucking house was on pins and needles around her. And I mentioned it to her. I was like, look, this is what we talked about. She goes, I know what you're talking about. I talked to the therapist, which is a fucking lie. But the therapist doesn't tell you what was privately said. Well, you're, you should be right, but who knows? Who cares? Like, it really doesn't matter. That's simply not true. Would you like to hear the oh, truth? I don't care. Why are you still focused on that? Why are you still fucking... Don't, don't, don't... Jeff, Jeff. Okay, maybe. Learn to detach from things that aren't real. If it's not real, it doesn't fucking matter. If she's on a crazy chain, don't jump on with her. If it's not real, that's crazy. If she's lying, also crazy. Hey, maybe she is crazy. Maybe she's a narcissist. Maybe she's full of shit. She's gaslighting the fuck out of you. What? Why do I care? Why do you care? Nobody else gives a shit because it ain't real. People waste time in the fake, in the bullshit, in the BS. Why do you think people fight and fight and fight and fight? You're enabling it. You don't like it and you're upset because this happened three minutes ago? Grow up. Stop enabling it. Stop. It's the same thing every fucking day.
fucking exhausting. It's been over a year and it's just fucking exhausting. Listen, Some if you want to just kind of want your shit to be done. Listen, you know I don't believe this. What I'm about to say, you know I don't back this up. But if you can't, fucking leave. If you just want to complain, say this sucks being me, you're not going to have a change in your life. Not with her and not with anybody. So you might as well fucking walk away. If you think that you are not doing good with your children, you're not doing good with your mother-in-law, fucking leave, man. You're wasting everybody's time. But that's no, not... that's it. I am doing good. Like, there we go. Not only am I getting the uh, feedback from you guys because I'm always checking in wanting to know because I was so deep in my nice guy, but I actually went to my daughter's therapist and she's like, yes, the books you're reading, the way you're interacting with her is good. There you go. So why are you wasting your breath? That's why you can stay. But instead of staying and waiting for your wife, start showing up in a way that shows leadership, dude. If she wants to cry like a little baby, she wants to be a mean, nasty person, you don't have to engage. If she wants to lie and manipulate you, which by the way is how it works when you're gaslighting guys, she might even believe it. She might believe it. Maybe she's deep in her narcissism and her nice girl. Man, you fell in love with her with the, those qualities. The only thing is you're pissed off because you, instead of taking ownership and understanding, you've enabled this behavior to happen. For fucking that's, 19 years. That's how disrespect I'm not carries on. I the fuck out of this and let her just do whatever the fuck she wanted. Flirt with guys in the bar in front of me. Um, sit on guys laughs, splash her boobs in a bar for money, you name it. I was nice guy. And like, oh yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make And now you're I wondering know. why, and now you're wondering why she's confused and thinks it's weird and crazy that she can't control you anymore. Why do you think she's saying you're manipulating me? It's oh, no, just because the leash has been pulled in. And belittling her now. But you're not. So shut the fuck up and quit repeating it. You got him. Stop. Stop enabling yourself to be full of shit. Because you're not full of shit. You know it. You just said it out loud. When I challenged you and said, then fucking leave. You know I don't believe this, but then fucking leave. You said, no, this is not real. It's not true. So be that guy. You enabled it. Own it. For 19 years. You just said it. You let her do some terrible things, it sounds like. I mean, you let her get away with it. That's on you, dude. Now, is it on her? Yes. However, we don't own her. And we don't control her. We can only take responsibility for ourselves. If you let that go on, this kind of behavior for 19 years, you got nothing to say. Except for, who do I want to be now? And if she doesn't respect you, then you can only focus on the foundation of respect first before you bother with the boundary. And what does that look like? Being the man that you're proud of, dude. Just take responsibility. If you don't like it it's in three months or six months and your patience and the patience formula is worn out, I'll walk you out of this marriage. I will. She's, but uh, here, at this here, point, she's walking herself out of the she, marriage. She I'm, might. I, I would too. You haven't really changed. She was pissed off before you met me and you haven't really changed. You've just minorly made some moves forward. You take steps forward and then you let this shit upset you. So, <clears throat> at yeah, some point, they all the, leave, uh, man. You can't, it's work. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. I want you to really pay attention to this. When you did nothing and the rug was pulled out from under you, meaning you had no idea, you just didn't know me, you didn't know what was going on, you weren't getting inundated in your social media, you weren't gonna take a course, hire a coach, you were just trying to figure things out because the rug got pulled out from you. She cheated, she gave you she separation in the, the house, or out of the house, divorce papers. She told you she wasn't attracted anymore. All of the things that happened that brought you all here, okay? When that happened, that, that was totally different than when you start to make changes and you halfway show up. You can't respond. Let me use you as an example here, Jeff. You can't respond, not react. Be in control of your anxiety 60% of the time. You actually make the explosions look stupid and worse. Because she starts to see change. This is why I tore into you guys on that January 1st recording saying, hey, how many of you are still fucking fat? You can't even work out? You can't follow through on that simple thing? Your wife thinks you're stupid. And I don't care if she's fat. You said you were going to do something and then you didn't do it again. 
That's it. You know, some of you have snow in the vehicles. How many times are you wiping the snow off your vehicle? You can't do that one time and then be lazy for a week. You just look stupid. You just look stupid. You can't not yell for three months and then lose your shit and say, I want a divorce. Happened, what, 17 times in the last six months with a bunch of you guys? You can't. You just look stupid. It's not like it was when you didn't have the answers. You can't show up making massive improvements and then back off and go, oh yeah. You know, some of you guys, and I was guilty of this too, guys. All right, I gotta win, I gotta win. It's still taking steps forward. Stop justifying failure. Own the fact that you want more. That's it.